The SEO game has changed and in this video, I'll show you a proven four step process for ranking number one in Google and AI search platforms like ChatGPT so you can get results like this, this, and this. I'm Nathan Gotch and over the last decade, I've led hundreds of successful SEO campaigns and my SEO systems have helped thousands of agencies produce predictable number one rankings for their clients. So like this video to show me you're excited for this SEO masterclass. And let's begin with step number one, which is to understand the new search battleground. Google is still the most popular website and search engine, but search is more fragmented than ever. Start by looking at Google itself. The search experience now includes AI overviews and AI mode, both of which are proven to decrease clicks and traffic for websites. Throw Gemini into the mix and you have three products just within Google that you need to consider in your SEO strategy. And I didn't even mention legacy Google products like the local pack and traditional search results. The truth is that driving brand visibility just on each individual Google product requires a slightly unique strategy. More on this later. But as of now, Google is now a highly fragmented search experience, but Google is not the only player in search anymore. Potential customers are searching for solutions everywhere now, like YouTube, ChatGPT, and even TikTok. So if you want to build an SEO strategy that works now and into the the future, it needs to cover all search opportunities. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Which brings me to step number two, which is to modernize your keyword strategy. Go into perplexity and enter a keyword phrase with commercial intent, like best baseball cleats for pitchers. Then watch how perplexity turns that seed into queries, also known as query fan out. It then uses a process called RAG, which stands for retrieval augmented generation. In short, when AI platforms like ChatGBT don't have a reliable answer based on their training, it uses RAG to find the answer. And in most cases, these AI platforms are using public search engines or sometimes going directly to Reddit or even YouTube to find the answer. The reason why this is critical to understand is because you need to rank well in traditional search engines if you want to shape how the AI generates a response. Now, there are a few ways to find queries that users are likely to use in AI platforms. First, you can create synthetic queries using this prompt. However, this is not the best strategy because you're letting the AI guess and there's no proof that people actually search those prompts. The next strategy is to simply run searches on perplexity and copy the keywords it uses during the fan out process. You can also copy the suggested queries at the bottom of the chat in perplexity. The third strategy is to run the same searches on traditional Google search and extract the people also ask queries using the detailed Chrome extension. Then just repeat this process for 10 to 20 seeds and you'll build a nice database of natural queries. And the final technique is to use Google Search Console. Go into your search data and use this rejects formula to filter the keywords. This formula will show you queries that have commercial intent and are longer than 10 words, which is a strong signal that a user might be using Google's AI mode. You can also use this formula to find command-based queries, which are commonly used in AI chat products as well. So now that you've built a nice nice database of opportunities, it's time for step number three, which is topic domination. Pick one product or service you want to promote, like furnace repair in St. Louis. And the goal of topic domination is to go a mile deep on these topics and distribute SEO-driven content across platforms that Google and AI platforms show preferential treatment towards. But always start with your home base, which is your website. So go into Rankability's Content Optimizer and create a new report. If you have an existing page, click import URL and enter your URL. If you're targeting a new keyword, then you'll have the option to create your first draft with AI or do it manually. In this example, I'll use Rankability's AI Writer. Use the prompt window to add as much detail as possible so the initial draft is unique. And for a commercial keyword like furnace repair in St. Louis, you'll want to add testimonials, unique offers, or even unique selling propositions about the HVAC company. And then within five minutes, you'll have a fully optimized first draft that's ready for a human editor. I recommend taking the time you save to write the draft and allocating it towards the editorial process. As they say, the magic is in the edit anyway. So now that you have your 
base commercial content, it's time to support this page so you can build topical authority. Now, most people think you need to create informational content at this point, but you can actually build relevance through creating more commercial pages. Start by filtering your Google Search Console data with a broad keyword like furnace, export the report, and sort by position. Within a couple of seconds, I see furnace humidifier, furnace installation services, and furnace humidifier filter replacement. Each of these can be modified to have local intent, and each can be turned into its own mini cluster. So take a seed like furnace humidifier, enter it into Google, and add a space so you get recommended searches. In seconds, I can see furnace humidifier costs, filter, leaking, pad, and installation. And now it's time to localize these concepts. For example, furnace humidifier costs will turn into how much does a furnace humidifier cost in St. Louis? And then you'll wanna put these ideas into buckets based on intent and where they'll be published on the website. So how much does a furnace humidifier cost in St. Louis is a good candidate for the blog since it has blended intent. On the other hand, furnace humidifier installation service in St. Louis has commercial intent and should be a static conversion focused page. The truth is that most businesses just scratch the surface when it comes to building topical authority. And just for the topic of furnace repair in St. Louis, you could create hundreds of supporting commercial and informational assets. Don't move on to another topic until you've completely exhausted it. So once you've done that, it's time to take those same exact topics and create content on third party platforms. So after your website, YouTube is the second best place to create content because the obvious reason that it's a Google product and there's proof that AI platforms like ChatGBT and Perplexity use YouTube for retrieval. The good news is that standard SEO content principles also apply to optimizing for YouTube. The only difference is that content that LLMs consume is through the transcript, not a web page. Meaning it's critical that you optimize your video script for your target keyword phrase. I just use Rankability's content optimizer for this. And just to prove that it works, I conducted a live experience over a year ago and created my entire script in Rankability's Content Optimizer for the keyword SEO tools for agencies. And it still ranks number one on YouTube and my other SEO tools videos also rank on Google using the same principles. You can use a similar strategy with LinkedIn because it's stupidly overpowered for ranking in Google and it's commonly cited in ChatGPT. I posted a video about how to start an SEO agency on LinkedIn over five months ago and it ranks very well. Now, the question is, why? Well, first, it's because of LinkedIn's ridiculously strong website authority. And second, it's because of the optimized transcript. The craziest part is that this is the same exact video I posted on YouTube and they both rank on the first page of Google. The point is that modern SEO is about appearing everywhere your customers are searching. Don't stop with your website. And now for step number four, which is what I call signaling. In essence, you want to send signals to algorithms and AI platforms that your brand is the best option. Now, there are three core areas to focus on. First, you need to build website authority. In a perfect world, you'd want ChatGPT and AI platforms to cite your business's website as a source. This is essentially double dipping because A, if your website is used as a source for retrieval, you can control the message and shape the AI generated response. And B, you'll be cited, which increases your odds of getting referral traffic. But to become the source, you need to execute the topic domination strategy I showed showed you earlier in this video, and you need to actively work to build website authority through consistent link building. There's evidence that ChatGBT tends to cite websites with strong backlink profiles. And just to be clear, this isn't because ChatGBT uses PageRank or something similar. It's actually a lot more simple than that. First, ChatGBT uses search for retrieval, and most search engines use backlinks as a core ranking signal. Second, there's some evidence that ChatGBT and Perplexity actually white list trusted domains. They likely use open source lists of top websites like Tranco and Cisco. And to no surprise, top websites that appear on these lists also tend to have strong backlink profiles. The point is this, link building is still a fundamental piece of any effective AI search and SEO strategy. And my favorite link building method right now allows you to kill two birds with one stone. Enter a commercial keyword like best, insert your product or service right now in 2025, 
into ChatGPT and it'll likely trigger the retrieval process since GPT-5's cutoff date was October 2024. So once it's done, go to the citations and look for third-party opportunities. These are the most important outreach targets. Now, here's the cool part. It doesn't matter whether the link is sponsored, organic, or even no followed. It still influences the AI-generated responses. So just repeat this process for at least 10 unique queries in ChatGPT, then I do it again for perplexity and even Grok. That way you have a nice diverse set of opportunities that you can quantifiably say influence the AI generated responses. Next, repeat this process for traditional search engines like Google, Bing, and Brave. And if you want to streamline this process, just use ChatGPT's agent to do the link prospecting for you using this prompt. So now that you have your list, it's as simple as sending consistent personalized outreach emails with strong offers. Always use the what's in it for me criteria before you send an email. The person receiving your cold email should be getting significantly more than you get out of the relationship. And now the next critical signal for your brand are third party reviews. So if you're a local business, focus 90% of your effort on your Google business profile. And for the other 10%, just reverse engineer sources from ChatGPT. For example, when I search commercial queries related to HVAC, I see directories like Angie, Yelp, and HomeGuide. Each of these platforms allow you to create business profiles and drive reviews. So invest 10% of your time into three to five platforms outside of Google to create review diversity and to reinforce that your client is the best company to do the job. And the final technique is blanketing the web with brand mentions and recommendations. Start with sources you find in ChatGPT, like this Reddit thread or St. Louis Magazine, for example. Any website or platform that is cited in ChatGPT is an LLM feeder. Pursue these opportunities ASAP. And if you're running an established SEO or digital marketing agency and want to dominate the new era of AI search, apply for Gotcha SEO Academy because you and your team will get first access to my new AI search expert certification program. This is where I'm sharing what's working right now in AI search and SEO. I'll have a link below this video for your agency to apply. So thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more AI search and SEO videos coming soon.